Hi friends, Dr. Lisa here, cancer physical therapist and bone fit trained exercise professional. Today is an important posture video that talks about how to improve your posture after a mastectomy procedure. So I'm going to go over four important exercises that I give clients on a regular basis to help improve posture and recovery after either a single or double mastectomy. Now it's very common that scar tissue can pull us into this forward position. If we didn't get full range of motion of our shoulders after surgery, it can keep us pulled down. And if we're just protective of that area, that tends to pull us into this more closed position. And we want to achieve this open and tall posture in recovery. And yes, it's absolutely possible. So if you have a strap, a belt, a big towel, we're going to need that for one of the stretches. We need a chair or a countertop and a pillow to do these moves. They're four, they're easy, they're really quick, and we're going to do it together. So gather your stuff and let's get started. So number one is we need to restore full shoulder range of motion. And I love to use the back of a chair or a counter for that. So join me now, put both hands on the back of the chair, step your feet back, keep a long spine as you sink as far down as is comfortable between your shoulders. Let's take a full breath here. Sink a little deeper. and walk it forward very good we're going to do two more shake it out here step it back looking to have a long spine long arms sinking between the shoulder blades adjusting your position if there's any pinching feeling we want that stretch feeling either in the chest or the shoulders it might even be in the back or the hamstrings Step it forward. Excellent. And we're going to do one more here. Big step back. Reach the hips back. Extend the arms forward. So we have all that length from our tailbone to our fingertips. Head is sinking between the upper arms. That's how we know we've achieved full range of motion is when our ears is be are between our upper arms. Good, step it forward. Yeah, full range of motion is up here where in my peripheral vision, I can't see my arms anymore. Here, I see both arms in my peripheral vision as I'm looking straight ahead. So we wanna get to the point where those arms are up so tall we can't see them anymore. That's your goal. Okay, next up, grab your strap. It can be one of the stretchy exercise bands too, that's just fine. And we're going to start out wider than shoulder width. And you can start out pretty wide if you want, because this is a big stretch. We're reaching up and over and back. Here's really tight right here. We're gonna come all the way down behind the back. If you need to extend your hand position as you go, that's fine. We're gonna come over the top again. Good. As you get better, the hands will get a little bit closer together. Up and over, all the way back. Lift the strap off the back. Right here is the sticky point. That's where it's the tightest. Come back over the top. Be gentle. Extend the arms a little wider if you need to, but work on this full shoulder range of motion. Your shoulders will thank you later. And back. Good. One more. Up, big reach, big stretch, opening the heart. Reach behind, lift off the back, up and overhead. Awesome, very good. I know that is an intense and powerful stretch, but really relieves that tightness that we're getting in the shoulders and the front body. Okay, next up, hands on the ears. You can set your feet any way you want to. I like them side by side with my knees unlocked. 
We're going to squeeze the elbows back, squeeze the wings together, and release. Squeeze and release. We're lifting the heart. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Let's do two more. Squeeze, release. We're strengthening these back muscles. Last one, and release. So we're stretching the front body to loosen up the things in the front that are pulling us forward. And we're strengthening the back body to help hold that new or restored position. Okay, so the last one I do is more passive, more restful. It's a long passive stretch and it helps open up the thoracic spine in the middle back. This is where we're going to use the pillow and I like to get down. Now you can just use it in a single layer. I like to double it up. We're going to put it at about the bra line and you can adjust wherever it feels the best for you. We don't want it in the low back. We want it in the middle back. Knees bent. And then we're going to reach the arms into a T position and reach the head back. As long as that feels safe to your head, you can absolutely have a pillow or a towel under your head too. So arms in T position, this is the easiest. Arms in Y position is a little harder. And arms in I position is the hardest, reaching the thumbs for the floor. Whatever position feels the safest and best for you, spend one to two minutes resting in this position, letting this pillow push our thoracic spine open, our rib cage open, our chest open with the arms extended. This is a wonderful passive stretch. When you're done, roll onto your side, come up to your hands and knees, one leg forward, use a chair if you need to, and back up to standing. So there's a recipe for helping to restore posture after a mastectomy, a single or double procedure, and help you achieve that confident, dignified posture again, which is also really good for your bones. Hey, thanks for joining me and I wish you the best. And if you haven't subscribed, Go ahead, if you like this information, leave a comment below. I would love to know your story and tell me what has happened for you and how you have been looking for these exercises. Thank you so much.